If you want to venture to the bottom of the world, 36,000 feet beneath the sea, you don't have a lot of options. You need the perfect shape made of strong, heavy material, a steel sphere. This epic dive has been done only once before by the Trieste expedition in 1960. Then and now, this simple structure is the only way to go for getting human beings to the bottom. We're constrained by the amount of pressure to a very small sphere uh, in order to just have the vehicle light enough that we can even get it into the water and back on a, back on a ship. On the Trieste trip, that meant the two-man crew had to operate in a working space smaller than a phone booth. Cameron's journey won't be any more comfortable. This is the steel sphere here. This is where the pilot, the pilot goes. The space is tiny. Cameron will barely be able to move for over nine hours as he pilots the craft to the bottom and back. He actually took up yoga to help get more limber. A sphere is still the safest place to be at the bottom of the ocean. The design hasn't changed much since 1960. The technology of the craft that gets it down there is a very different story. The Trieste voyage was groundbreaking, but the craft itself was limited. It took so long to get down, the crew could only stay on the bottom for about 20 minutes. Cameron's sub is state-of-the-art. Its vertical orientation allows for a much faster descent. He'll be able to explore the bottom for over six hours, filming and collecting samples of this unknown environment like never before.